Today, by the order of the Supreme Court, the state of Arizona carried out the death sentence of Clarence W. Dixon. Mr. Dixon was pronounced at 10.30 a.m. His very last words after the drugs went in at 10.19, uh, maybe I'll see you on the other side, Dina. I don't know you and I don't remember you. Those were his final words. And after that, he fell asleep. I was concerned that the justice process that has brought us together today could have been jeopardized. But today, that process has been finalized. Arizona executing its first inmate in eight years. Welcome to the Fox 10 News at noon. Clarence Dixon sentenced to death in the 1978 killing of an ASU senior. The victim's family says this morning's conclusion was decades in the making. And first, Clarence Dixon, 66 years old. He was convicted of killing Arizona State student Dina Bowden back in 1978. She was found dead in her apartment with signs that she was raped, stabbed, and strangled. Dixon was serving a life sentence for a separate 1985 sexual assault case when DNA testing linked him to the Bowden cold case. He was found guilty and sentenced in 2008. And that brings us to today. Yeah, Fox 10's Anita Roman is joining us live from Florence with more on what happened this morning. Hey, Anita. Yeah, good morning. Clarence Dixon's last meal consisted of Kentucky Fried Chicken, half a pint of strawberry ice cream, and a bottle of water. He was officially pronounced dead at 10.30. According to our witnesses, there were three media witnesses, our very own Fox 10's Troy Hayden being one of them. The execution took 11 minutes and, according to the Department of Corrections, did in fact go as planned. Let's take a look at some of the video and talk about what we do know. There are a number of facts here. Fox 10's Troy Hayden, again, one of three media witnesses. He said it took about 25 minutes to get all the IVs in. Medical staff had trouble getting the first IV into Dixon's left arm. They made two attempts and then went to his right arm and then they went to his groin area. They were successful uh, in the uh, putting those IVs in there. Uh, Troy Hayden says that Dixon was insulting to the doctors, questioning their intentions and their motives. Troy also says that Dixon never made eye contact with witnesses, stare at the ceiling the entire time. Here's a little bit of what Troy had to say. He grimaced a couple times while the IVs were going in. Uh, once the drugs started flowing, he went to sleep almost immediately. His very last words after the drugs went in at 10, 19, uh, maybe I'll see you on the other side, Dina. I don't know you and I don't remember you. Those were his final words. And after that, he fell asleep. Dina, of course, being his victim. In Dixon's last statement before the execution, he declared his innocent. He also said that the Arizona Supreme Court should have issued a stay of execution. And his victim's sister also spoke out after the execution. Extremely emotional. Take a listen. You now, as sisters will do, we fought, we hugged, and we negotiated our way through 21 years together. I have indelible memories of her driving up to Flagstaff in her little green pinto to see me at college. And I cherish our train travels in Europe during one of her last summers. I wish you all could have known her. I have just one request of you. All my mom ever wanted was that people would remember Dina. Please remember Dina Lynn Bowden. Another death row inmate, Frank Atwood, scheduled to be executed June 8th. He was convicted of kidnapping and killing an eight-year-old little girl in Tucson back in 1984. We, of course, will have continued coverage on later editions of Fox 10 News. Reporting live in Florence, back to you. Anita, thank you for your coverage. We know she's been there all day covering this for us. And like she said, we'll have more coming up on later editions of Fox 10. All right, now